Hi there, Paul here from Spitfire Audio. In this video, we're going to look at the percussion section in the BBC Symphony Orchestra plugin. Let's jump in with the timpani to start. So I've got a couple of mics up here. I've got the close mics, the tree and the outriggers. There are lots and lots of different options here, but just to get you uh, up to speed with this sound, we can go for a very roomy sound by just having things like the tree, the outriggers and the ambience. Or we can go closer in on the sound and kind of get to hear the skins of the timpani in a variety of different ways by using the close mics there. There's a stereo pair directly above. There's also a close wide mic. If we take all of the room mics out, you can hear there, there's, there's a huge amount of variation that you can get within the sound. Um, one other thing which is uh, worth just noting at the beginning before we dive uh, deeper into the different articulations within the percussion section is to look at the spill mics. And if we look at the standard kind of tree and outriggers and close, and then we add in the spill, You can see that you can get that expansive kind of 3D sound. But let's actually get up one of Jake Jackson's mixes. Uh, there are two mixes. The first mix is what he calls the real mix. So this gives you the most realistic orchestral sound. And the second one is the hyped mix. But let's stick with the real mix for now and let's have a look through the different articulations that you have available, different playing styles. So we could switch to the rolls and these are controlled by the mod wheel. We've got soft hits. And these are with very, very soft felt sticks. Um, and again, we've got rolls with these as well. Incredibly useful when you want that, just that very, very soft. That kind of lovely soft kind of pulsing sound. Um, we've got some fantastic hot rods. And actually these, it's worth just having a quick listen to these through the close wide. These I like to use for kind of rhythmic pulsing thing and you can add in the amount of room to taste but just to have those the, that nice kind of close um, kind of tack from the sound of the hot rods is fantastic. We've got these rolls as well. Let's switch back to Jake's mix. So rolls with the hot rods. And then we move into the damped section. So this is uh, hand damping on the timpani to get a really kind of tight sound. Um, super damped is really leaning into it and actually damping as just as you strike. So that gives you a, a very useful sound as well. Moving on, we've got the hot rods damped as well. and also the soft sticks. Very dynamic as well. It's possible to get that a nice soft sound, but also damped so it doesn't ring, ring out for a long time. Moving on to the harp, let's look at the mics here and just have a very quick look again at the close mics. So the, this is the Decker tree. So we've got a variety of close options here. Here's the first one. As before, we've got our stereo uh, pair of coals here. And we've also got this close wide miking. Again, if we put the tree mic up um, and compare the sound with and without the spill, 
If we put in a couple of the spill mics, the strings and woodwinds, for example. Really huge difference getting those extra microphones uh, recording the effect of the harp at that distance through the other instrument mics. So let's go back to Jake's mix and look at some of the other articulations or playing styles that we have here. So there's damped, as it sounds, hand damped onto the strings. There's what we call medium damped. So that's a slightly longer sustain before you get the, the damping happening. We have the bisbiliando trem, which uh, means whispering trem. And again, that's a really beautiful harp texture. Dynamic controlled with the mod wheel. Um, really lovely for playing uh, if you just kind of have it nice and quiet and then playing. It's a great texture that for doing all kinds of things, whether you're playing it realistically or not. Um, we've got a ton of uh, glissando effects. And if you click on the dial, um, you can see that one of the options here to control is direction. Let's check out the marimba. So really lovely and dynamic. You've got the rolls as well. And these, again, are controllable by the mod wheel. As with many of the controls on the UI, this is reassignable. So if you want to set that to a different control and not the mod wheel, it's very simple to do that as well. I think it's worth just having a very quick listen to the close wide on this particular sound. So you've got, um, again, that, that fantastic close wide sound, but also the standard close mic, which are different mics as well. So there's a lot of possibilities here for using this um, just out of the orchestral context as well, just as a solo marimba. So looking at the Celeste. So that's just using the tree mics. We put up our normal kind of Spitfire mix, the close the tree and the outriggers. And again, let's put in some of those spill mics just to see what the effect of that is. Let's check out the close wide. Again, fabulously close, direct, really punchy sound. Let's put Jake's main mix up and let's check out a couple of the other options. So we've got damped and slightly longer. Next up, the xylophone. This is with Jake's mix. And we've got some fantastic performed rolls as well. Let's have a listen to the Glock. with the full spill mic as well.
and with Jake's slightly more hyped mix. And also there are rolls on this instrument as well. Here's an old favourite, the tubular bells. We have rolls. And damped hits as well. Put up a mix for the vibraphone. And as you'll see here, we have a vibrato control as well. And this one also really benefits from this close wide. Crotales, these are these little bell discs. And this is one where the interaction of the close mics and the distant mics is really, really useful. So if we put up our own mix here, a little bit of spill from the strings and the woodwinds, and we get this sound. We've also got these bowed. And a quick listen to just the close wide. Finally, let's jump into the untuned percussion. Now I'm gonna just go uh, in for Jake's first mix. So you get a kind of context with all of these sounds. Something that's really useful here is within each instrument, um, you have the ability to hover over the key to see what performance will be played when you hit that key. So for example, here on C2, a single straight hit. Nice and dynamic. And then we've got a choked hit as well. So these are laid out so that you can play the two keys next to each other. Let's look at the first bass drum. We've got the single straight hit. We've got a damped hit. And then the rolls which are controllable via the mod wheel. Let's have a very quick comparison of the mics here on the bass drum. So the close mic. the close wide, the stereo, coals, and then really interestingly, these fantastic extra wide stuff. So the outriggers, the sides, and just the spill mics. really makes a huge difference because with the percussion, you really are getting the whole room resonating and the sound of the room is part of the sound of the percussion. So if we, if we put up um, a mix just to investigate the effect of that. So let's go back to Jake's mix. We've also got a second bass drum. So you can hear it slightly lower in pitch um, and a, just a different, slightly more um, woolly sound to the first bass drum, but still incredibly useful to have both of those tones in there. The muted hits and of course 
your roll here. And you've also got a soft stick roll as well. Which goes really, really quiet there. So let's look at our symbols. So here we're using some of the black keys as well, as you can see. So we have the um, muted crash on the white keys there and the straight crashes on the black keys for these first four notes. So. We've got a hard stick version. We've got our rolls. And again, you can use that just at the quiet level. Just to get that lovely silvery sound. Up here on this note, we have a bowed symbol. And then finally, we have the cymbal swells or crescendos. And a muted version. And if I turn up the variation slider, I can select from different lengths. So military drum, we have single hits. We can add in some close mic if you want to really get a cutting sound. We've got the rim shots, a grace note, and the rolls. Piatti are the two big symbols held um, in the hands. Um, we have these choked. Fantastic ringing sound. And finally, uh, the sound of moving the cymbals together to get a kind of rolling sound. Again, a lovely effect. Now we have a couple of options for snares laid out the same way as the military drum. And a second snare. The tam-tam, which is a fantastic huge orchestral gong. So here it's damped. Different velocities give you different dynamics. A straight hit, which rings out. A roll. And finally, the crescendos, which again are controllable in length from the variation slider. So tambourine, we have hits and a shake there, and then also a kind of roll for the tambourine as well. Again, a controllable dynamic. The tenor drum. Rim shot. Sticks. And then your rolls. Got a selection here of what we call toys. So castanets, three wood blocks, cowbell, guiro, with a longer sound from the guiro, and then vibra slap, and sleigh bells. Finally, the humble triangle. And finally, it's very easy to make a quick and dirty kind of multi on these. 
Um, the simple way is to simply transpose. So if we put the uh, bass drums down two octaves, and then let's say that we want the snare drum. Let's, in fact, let's say we want both snare drums playing together. So I'm going to leave them together. I'm going to shift click to turn all of these on. And then I can play the bass drum down here and the snares up here. But I could also separate those out. So if I wanted to put, say, snare two uh, in the middle of those two, I'd simply transpose that so it appears on the keyboard lower. Um, let's get all of these. You can see these little blue lights in the corner show that those are all active. And then we've got So very, very easy to just quickly uh, put together the sounds that you want on the keyboard and have them in the position that you want to play them in. So that's a look through all of the instruments in the percussion section of the BBC Symphony Orchestra plugin. Keep an eye on our socials and on the website for more video content. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also remember to ding the bell if you want to be notified next time we put a video up. Thank you very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.